12 people in Mississippi have tested positive for coronavirus. This has now pushed the Department of Health and our federal government to lay out new guidelines and recommendations to the public. 12 News Alex Love sat in on the latest briefing. He's live outside the governor's mansion to break down their reports. Alex. Well, Melanie, some counties in Mississippi are dealing with more than one COVID-19 case in the same area. It has, it has spread from Pearl River to Monroe, Hancock, Forest, LaFleur, Capaya, and Hines County. Governor Tate Reeves himself addressed the state from the governor's mansion on coronavirus updates where he and his family have chosen to be in self-quarantine, but they are not reported to be sick after their trip to Spain. This is a situation that is ever evolving. Governor Reeves emphasizing the battle to contain the coronavirus from the federal down to the state level has drastically changed how we should gather in crowded areas. Uh, not too long ago, uh, the CDC had issued recommendations that we shouldn't have gatherings of 250 people or more. The president made a new recommendation just this, this afternoon about decreasing crowd size to 10. Following President Trump urging gatherings to not exceed 10 people, Governor Reeves took to Twitter ordering all Mississippi casinos to close after midnight. Other businesses could follow. At this time, we are not making recommendations to close uh, business, uh, bars or restaurants. Certainly is under additional consideration. Meanwhile, to avoid overcrowding hospitals and infecting medical facilities, the Department of Health is asking all non-emergency or elective surgeries and clinic appointments be postponed. If you need to be tested, call your local doctor's office. You cannot come to the county health department to get tested for COVID-19. You need to see your physician, your provider to get assessed. Take-home kits and mobile testing sites have also been discussed nationwide, and while the Department of Health would not give a set time frame, they laid out a plan to set up some soon. Those are already in the works from uh, private clinics, right? So they're wanting to, to put those together. It's been a, a practice we've been encouraging. We're working diligently to get a, a full and complete list of what's available where, especially in the event of an, air, of an area or county that has a special need. We can go in there and do some rapid fire testing. It's also important to know that it's also important to know that, it, that that testing is only available for those who are feeling sick. And just because you may test negative for COVID-19, there are other respiratory illnesses out there you have to be on the watch for. Reporting outside the governor's mansion in downtown Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News.